three are all on daylight savings as well? Um, Tom has not changed yet. He's not yet. Still- I think it's next week. Next weekend we change. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. We, we lost an hour of sleep. <laughs> Janine and I lost an hour of sleep. Well, it's been a rough week. So. It has been a rough. I know that sounds crazy, but it feels it's like you're jet lagged. <laughs> so, yeah. um, anyway, all right, guys. So I am super excited. We're back again with Janine and Tom. And I have to tell you, too, I did my first ever live last night. And yep. I had people talking about the two of you nonstop in my comments. Everybody loves you two together. You yeah. both use divination, but in different ways. And so it's super awesome to see the gematria with the reading. And um, and as we know, our, our uh, MSM is all basically just entertainment now. <laughs> it's just a telenovela. So we're getting our direct news from the source. From the universe in two different ways. And it's really cool to have this opportunity. And I think I had told Janine and I think I talked to Tom about it. What people know I do on my channel a lot of the time is I go through like weird situations in history because we know our history as a planet is not complete or there might be some misinformation intentionally put out there. And what I eventually want to do when things calm down, when we're having to relearn stuff is to go through some of this stuff with Janine and Tom, so we can get more clarity on certain things that have happened. And I keep wanting to do that, but more and more and more stuff comes up with the current events that we probably should focus on (laughs) because it's a wild time to be alive right now. But before we get into current events, I had one viewer that is a subscriber to all three of our our um channels that had one question regarding history that i said i would ask before we get into current events now we were talking last night about the continent of america and i know tom and i have talked about this before that there might be more to the story of the continent i'm not talking about the united states alone i'm talking about canada united states uh, Central America, South America, the whole continent. I know that that there is things that the Rosicrucians maybe thought that this land was potentially Atlantis. Mm-hmm. And I know that they have found in the middle of America some coins that had Alexandra, Alexandra Helios's face on them. Now, Alexandra, Alexander Helios was Cleopatra and Mark Antony's son. And if you look at the history mm-hmm. books, only one of their children, the, the girl, has a record of her life. The boys just kind of vanish. And they people thought they were dead, but now we think they maybe came to America. They were in this world before Jesus was here. So this was a long time ago. And obviously, they knew about this continent. But the question that this viewer had regarding that with Cleopatra, we know that Cleopatra was a Ptolemy. So she was Greek. Even though they ruled Egypt, she was Greek. The viewer wanted to know if Cleopatra's bloodline is still here and is one of the ruling elite bloodlines. Good question. I know it is, isn't it? I had I felt like I had to give a, a little explanation for that so people would see why she was asking that. And there's also caves in um, the Grand Canyon that the United States government will not let people go into. And apparently the Native Americans said there were mummies in those caves. So that's interesting as well. Yeah. So yes, uh, her bloodline still exists and it looks like it's a ruling bloodline, but it's been hidden. Interesting. So they hid it. Uh, they covered over it. They've changed the names. They've changed history books. To, so you can't like... You, wouldn't be able to directly find it very easily. That's super interesting. We're going to have, once we get through the current issues, we're going to have fun with this because we know our history is, or at least everybody watching this knows that they've definitely, um, the firm, the different uh, different branches of the firm have definitely changed stuff for us. So, okay, cool. But his story, isn't it? It's he that writes it, he or she that writes it, his story. Mm -hmm. It's Mm -hmm. their story, you know? Yep. Absolutely. So that's super, super interesting. Um, I know a lot of people don't know that Cleopatra was Egypt uh, or was a uh, Greek, but they were Greek. They were they the Ptolemies oh. were, were were Greek and they ruled Egypt. Okay. Oh, so, so now, she wasn't Egyptian. She was Greek. Okay. Huh? Okay. So and they all they inbred like crazy. Like they were crazy and, and they were like brothers and sisters. Mayor. I mean, yeah. they were Caligula. Yeah, it was not like cousins. It was like 
brothers and I mean, it was crazy incest, but um, okay. So now we're gonna jump 2000 years into the future to, to, to current time. Um, so a lot is happening right now, as everybody knows, a lot is going on, especially here in the state of Georgia. Um, I have some questions. We know we talked about Tyler Perry last week with Ty Tyler Perry's studio and the fact that there is a White House on Tyler Perry studio. More and more people are finding that out and talking about that here in Atlanta. So I've got some questions regarding some of our officials here in Atlanta. Um, and I sent, I sent you the names, Tom, so you can kind of look at their names. So the first question I have is regarding uh, our governor here in Georgia, who is Brian Kemp. Now, Brian Kemp, during the whole um, lockdown, was actually a really good governor. He never mandated um, the mask. Is that with a Y, uh, Bryce, or an I? B-R-I-A-N, Brian Kemp. He never, he's a Republican. K-E-M-P, yeah. Uh, K-E-M-P, yes, Governor Kemp. He never mandated uh, the mask. Actually, our mayor in Atlanta tried to mandate the mask, and Brian Kemp threw a lawsuit on her because he was the governor, and he said no. Um, and so my question is, but lately he has kind of looked like he might be a rhino. Um, his daughter's boyfriend was in a horrific car accident going to uh, Loeffler's yep. rally or something. And it was very suspicious. It did not look like it was an accident, if you guys know what I mean. Yep. And some people believe that he might have been threatened, that he's not a bad guy, but got threatened. Um, and some people think he is deep state. Uh, Lynn, uh, Lynn, uh, Lynn Wood seems to think he is deep state. So my question is, who is Brian Kemp? What side of the court, what side of the playing board is he on? And does he have any connection to Tyler Perry and what's going on with, with that? If the cards can tell us that. Wow. Uh, it seems like he's part of uh, the bad guys. Because I said in regards to the the black hats, where does he fit in? So he's part of the gang. Okay. Uh, and he might've been uh, some kind of, I don't know, controlled sort of, what do they call that? Opposition or whatever. So the, he was acting like a good guy, but he was actually a bad guy. And wow. I feel like the situation with that fellow that with that suspicious car, uh, more like a blowing up of a car, <laughs> Yeah, uh, that situation was an internal like they were threatening them for an internal reason. It wasn't it wasn't about they were threatening him because he was a white hat. They were they were controlling a situation internally. Now, my next question regarding him, he's kind of vanished. We mm -hmm. haven't seen him on TV or anything. And during the whole summer riots and stuff, we saw him a lot. Yep. Has he been arrested? Okay, so he's under some kind of house arrest. So he might be being kept somewhere, but he's not literally in a prison because this is this is kept like so under some kind of lock and key, but there's an independence to it. So okay. the, the location might be literally a place he might own himself. So house arrest, that sounds like house arrest. So he's probably got one of those ankle monitors on. Yeah, Okay. because look at this card. It, it's literally like a prison, but then it was clarified by a really independent card. So an independent kind of prison situation. In other words, it sounds like a house arrest. Interesting, he, he's the one that ordered, uh, I don't know if I can say this word on YouTube, but he's the, word, the person that ordered those special machines that we use in our political competitions. Oh, oh right, 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 right. He ordered yeah. those yeah, yeah. and we had mass, um, the competition that happened, I'll say there was um, mass cheating and he didn't do anything yeah. about it. Yeah. And right. he is a Republican. So that was weird. And my second yeah. question regards uh, in Atlanta or in Georgia. Well, this His numbers, Bryce, as well. His oh, numbers yes, come to, to Brian comes to 44, uh, which is which is actually faith and, and hope. Um, Jacks as well. It's, it's one of President Trump's favorite kind of game numbers that come up. Uh, Kemp comes to 45. So you've got 45th president. You've also got the spade, uh, which is... Uh, the suit of cards, spade. Um, but yeah, those together comes to 89, comes to palladium, but it also comes to virus. So it's interesting what Janine has said about what, you know, what side he's on. And then your bit about the, the voting system mm -hmm. kind of clarifies that. So yeah, 89 uh, equals virus. Yeah. 
Isn't this cool? Like looking at the num numbers and the cards, they kind of mirror each other. It's so it's interesting. So cool. So cool. So my second question is about Mayor Bottoms. Now, Mayor Bottoms is the mayor here in Atlanta. Um, I have some issues with her because she did some really underhanded things this summer when we had, let's just say, street parties going on. <laughs> um, um, and again, we haven't seen anything from her. Like all of a sudden she's vanished. So my question, I'm pretty sure she's dirty, but she might not be. I don't know. This is a very complicated war. Is she dirty? And is she still among the free folk? Uh, she's not among the free folk again. Okay. There's that. She's in some kind of a situation. Uh, and we've got, and very stressful. She's feeling really stressful. I feel like she might have an addiction to a very unhealthy substance that's created by the dark cult. Really? So wow. we got addictions there. Uh, well, they're going to make up a reason why she's not around. They're going to, whatever you hear about her, if, she, if there's a demise situation, it's not real. They're, they're trying to figure out how to, how to spin things going forward. Now, let's think about that. She's just the mayor. So you think about mayors and the, and the whole like structure of government. They're not that. So you guys see like this stuff goes down into the grassroots level. That's that. Well, um, what's her first name, Bryce? Uh, Keisha, K-E-I-S-H-A, Keisha. And then her maiden name is Lance, L-A-N-C-E. Bottoms B O T T O M S is her full her full name and she's Mayor Bottoms. Um, yeah, she was all over TV this this summer when we had stuff going on here um, with the street parties that were happening. And um, yeah, I, I yeah I, I have not been a she kind of did some shady stuff to our um, police officers here in Atlanta, and we support. I know there's bad people in all walks of life, but we yep. do support our, our, our people that are protecting us. So, yep. um, and our neighbor was, was a police officer and it was, it was pretty upsetting to understand yep. like how these people are turning their backs on, on them. So, mm -hmm. um, that's interesting. That's, in I, I actually can't wait to share that with Todd because <laughs> we've been, a uh, yeah, she's an interesting one. Um, do you want me to, Tom, do you want me to go on to the next person while you get those numbers? Yeah, well, I've just done them. So it's interesting. So I did Mayor Bottoms, first of all. Um, Mayor comes to 72, comes to first, comes to Monday, comes to money. Um, money Bottoms yeah, well. comes to 104, which is Jerusalem. It's also Starlink. And an interesting one that last week or 10 days ago or so, Charlie sent me, um, uh, sent me a text and, and said, uh, pointing out Starlink, and it was, it was Starlink 17 which obviously is, is big, but Starlink 104 plus 17. And Charlie's saying that's the system that will run the QFS and the quantum system. Um, but you add those two together, it comes to 121, which is, which is Revelation, which is Golden Jubilee. So it's interesting, the word bottoms, I, you know, I had no idea that it would come out to 104. But you, add, um, you do hers, actually. So Mare Bottoms comes to 176, which comes to, interestingly enough, comes to uh, Donald J. Trump Jr., so Don Jr., but also comes to Back to the Future. Um, if you take it further, if you do, let's see, so Keisha, Keisha Bottom, so 53 plus 104, uh, comes to 157. Um, yeah, it's interesting, interesting the names on it. You know, the one that stood out is is the Starlink one because that's, that's current, you know. But as with all of it, you know, all the numbers have a value and there's good yeah. and bad on both sides, you know, so it's interesting what it, what it pops up, but uh, yeah. maybe, maybe there'll be a flip. Maybe, you know, maybe, I don't know. Some are going to go, some are going to come back. Some are going to be changed. Some are going to have an alibi, you know, get out, you know, a, a public alibi, you know, so it will be interesting to see what happens. It sounds like she's going to have that. So um, yeah. that brings me to, actually, I wasn't planning on asking this question, but I guess I will. The, uh, I hope I'm saying this right. Um, the Boulay Society is like um mm. it's a uh it's like a masonry society from what i understand for african americans and apparently it's maybe home bases here in atlanta um are all these people 
Well, first, let me ask you about, because I have another person here, Stacey Abrams. And I'll see, well, af after this, let's see if they're all connected to that. Um, is Stacey Abrams still among the free? Stacey Abrams, uh, for Tom, that's S-T-A-C-E-Y-A-B-R-A-M-S. She was actually the opponent running against Governor Kemp in our last election. She lost to Kemp, but she... Um, she's was, Democrat? Oh, she's... she's Democrat. Uh, yeah, she's yeah. heavily involved in the, um, the uh, strategy. I'm trying to figure out how to say this. The she was heavily involved in the strategy in Georgia to get the B-man to win the competition, if that makes sense. Okay, I get she's in some kind of hiding. Oh, are they so, for? Do you think they'll try to get her? Yeah, they're literally, they know exactly where she is and they're literally just waiting. They're being strategic about when they nab her. Interesting. So she's literally, uh, she's being hidden, it looks like, by somebody. Well, maybe that will lead us to the Belay Society. Our, um, I know Governor Kemp is not connected to the Belay Society. Is uh, Mayor Bottoms and Stacey Abram connected to the Belay Society? That's a big yes. Aces are yes. Wow. And that's all. I don't know that much about, about the Belay Society, but I do know. Is it based out of Atlanta? Would the cards tell us? Is, that, is this like the home base for that society? So it looks like it was, but it's been moved. So this is a long, slow process of change. So way back, it might have been. So it might have originated, mm -hmm. but it feels like it's moved. And I get two, and I don't know what I'm talking about, states away. But I don't know what I'm, okay. I'd have to look on a map. What does that look like? And what I direction? Mean, it's Mississippi not really uh, up would be like Kentucky, two states, North Carolina. Um, I know I, is uh, Chicago might be a big location as well, um, and a, and a, uh, Philadelphia too might be are also big. I think for that as well, because um, apparently maybe maybe possibly uh, allegedly Kobe Bryant might have been a part of that too. Yeah, I did get that he was. Okay, so there you go, guys. This uh, this this uh, society <laughs> um, exists in all in all demographics and all walks of life. They've yeah. got their tentacles everywhere. I get it's in lots of places now. And uh, this was on Kobe Bryant. Uh, what I what got- card, What card is that, Janine? That's the Ace of Pentacles. What I got around it is uh, he got, so he got too big for his britches within the group. And he uh, tried to do something outside of, he was told not to and he did it, was gonna do it anyway with his money. Huh. Because actually something like even, that, yeah. Even though you uh, you could become wealthy and famous through uh, if you're involved in these groups, and um, but the, the the price obviously is your soul. You know, mm -hmm. you're still uh, you don't you don't really get uh, to do just whatever you want unless you're just doing frivolous things. But if you try to actually make waves that aren't the waves the group wants to make, it's like think about think about. Um, that uh, that journal, well, he's not really a journalist, but that guy on CNN, what's his name, whose mother was- um, Anderson, Cooper. Anderson Cooper. Anderson Cooper. Okay, he didn't even get a dime from his mother's billions or whatever, not a cent, and he wasn't expecting anything. Why? Because it belongs to the dark cult. You don't own anything in that. You're just, you're just a pawn for the big machine. Yeah, so, you know, I Janine, hope that's, of, I, of, I hope that's working for them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be a part of that. <laughs> Janine, yeah. can you ask, can you find out 100%? So is Kobe actually dead or did he go into something else? Is he in hiding or is he actually, is he alive or dead? Okay. I've never asked that. So this will be interesting. Well, we got the tower that's and a 10 a 10 is an ending 
and it was a, a brutal ending. So like a blown up sort of ending. Mm. So he's gone from this plane. Justice and yeah, he, I, I don't think he, I don't think he's still here looking at these cards. Okay. Now, Going back to um, Stacey Abrams. So the numbers on her, Stacey comes to 73, which is number, um, which is Egypt, which is Joseph uh, Abrams, uh, very similar to Abraham. Abraham is 44, which was Brian. Mm -hmm. President Trump talks about the Abraham Accords, but Abrams, uh, without the extra A, but with the S, comes to 54, which is love, um, which is orbs. There's probably some not good meanings with 54 as well, but I haven't found them. But if you add them together, it comes to 127. 127 comes to Vatican City and also comes to the Phoenician. So interesting so, there you go yeah there you go yeah. that's yeah that's what the motherland that's the uh that's the uh central axis yeah so with all that stuff that we talked about so these are three big players politically i have one more player i want to ask about later in georgia but these are three big names that most people in georgia will recognize now it looks like besides stacy abrams who's literally hiding with Mayor Bottoms out of the way, because Mayor Bottoms is the mayor of Fulton County, which is where the studio is, where the fake White House is. So she's at, obviously out of the way. She's in Lock and Key. Brian Kemp is down on Lock and Key. Did they have to get these people out of the way in order to pull off what they're pulling off with the B-man right now with this using of a studio, if that makes sense. I'm trying to be careful with what I say. How are, how are we gonna respond when we're not censored anymore? We're not gonna remember how to talk normally, are we? <laughs> totally. Uh, <laughs> that. So yes, so I asked around what you were saying, how much truth is there? And it's a 70%, so you, you mostly got it. Mm -hmm. And it was a really unique situation. Uh, they Those people were gonna cause, um, they're not going to be able to pull off the smoke and mirrors they wanted to pull off mm -hmm. with those people in the way. They might they might expose them or something. Uh, okay, yeah. So people in Atlanta, that's why we have not seen any live footage of Mayor Bottoms or our governor. <laughs> Who's running Atlanta right now if they're not? Is it just the right? people? <laughs> it's crazy. Every time I do uh, on any kind of political leaders, suspicious ones, like for instance, Canadians, top dog, you know, mm -hmm. and he's a dog mm -hmm. too. Yep. Uh, yeah. Well, actually that's too nice. Like dogs are great. So <laughs> anyway, um, he, he's not definitely not running the country. Like they're not running it. Nobody's running. Like, I don't know how many alliances that people there are, but I got a feeling they're you know, in all the countries that sounds ludicrous, but that's really what I always get. Yeah, I'm like, the, who's running the show? If, 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 no, if these people are gone, and I don't understand how these people who are running, can't like look around and be like, where are these people? Like, where are our local yeah. politicians? They're usually everywhere. They're usually doing press conferences, especially in big cities. Yeah. Where are they? They're gone. Have you guys the seen, but no one's home. Yeah. Have you guys seen that um, where uh, Prince William and supposedly Prince William and Kate came out on uh, something like St. Paddy's Day and they were both wearing green and doing a nod for St. Patrick's. Okay, that was not Prince William. Like, uh, if you look at that guy's nose, it was so obvious, it literally fanned out. And Prince William has the, the, the most interesting but very long, narrow nose. Mm -hmm. And yeah. there's, there, like, it was so obvious it wasn't him. It was unbelievable. Somebody like, pointed out that Kate's hairline was a little different. Yeah, it's oh, like things hairline. are getting crazy. Like, though, we're, honestly, we haven't seen any of the real royals for so long. Mm -hmm. It's it's unbelievable to me that people are actually still falling for these photo op things. I, I want to shake people, people awake. It's like, are you really like, what else do they have to do? I mean, we're yeah. seeing um, the B man, number forty six. Obviously, so much has come out that he's not even where he's supposed to be. It's it's a green screen. It's CIG. All that's but, coming out now, and the excuses I hear, it's like cognitive dissonance to yeah. the max with people. Like, yeah. wake up. This is a, we're watching a movie. <laughs> what does Tom think of forty six? I mean, that's number ten, right? So it, it, to me, it comes to the Wheel of Fortune, which is like a random sort of 
uh, th th things are the opposite of how they appear when they it, okay. when the wheel of fortune comes into the cards. You That's can flip everything yeah. around. So forty six, forty six is a really potent, powerful number because uh, one, it's President Trump's year of birth. He was born in nineteen forty six. Okay. Um, his date of birth is one four six, so fourteen June, so one four six. It's also the name for, uh, for Ivanka Trump, one four six. Yeah. New Jerusalem, Leonardo da Vinci. So if you do one times 46, it equals 46. 46 is Ward, as in Charlie Ward. It's also Dove. But it's interesting you say that it's it's a card that doesn't appear, it's a number that doesn't appear to be the case. So obviously, behind the scenes, you know, the yeah. we've been talking about the alliance, the President Trump, they're all running everything and allowing people to wake up to see this movie and bit by bit the mask is being removed mm -hmm. or the nose is getting longer or, or flared out or whatever it may be. Off. Yeah, but it ultimately, I mean, there's a there's a great picture of President Trump probably 30 years ago, where he's holding a dove, you know, and that that's a biblical thing of the sign of the dove, you know, with John the Baptist and with, with Christ. And um, I just I, whenever I think of 46, I, I always I feel it's a very strong, potent number. It's the atomic number for um, uh, palladium as well, mm. and palladium, the royal play. You know, we have the royal palladium just down the road. So we're, we're watching this royal, this 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 grandiose performance throughout the world. But it's it's interesting you you give that detail about it's not as it seems, which is yep. the flip on what people you know the mass public are thinking. Um, the other thing as well, in terms of numbers, Janine, I, there's a few dates I wanted to ask you about. Um, two in March and two in April. So I wanted to ask you about the 22nd of March, which is Monday, the 25th of March, which is Thursday, and then the first of April, and also the tenth of April, and as we go through them, I can we can discuss each each one. But I'd love to look at those if we could. So let's start with the twenty second of March. Yeah, please. Just all around that day, if if it's if it, yeah, it. there's a few numbers. I mean, just to see what you get, and then there's a few things I can you know put towards that. Okay, so we've got the Judgment card. In this okay. deck, it's called the Eon. So it's about, if you look really closely at it, uh, there's a guy right in the center. He's like, something huge is happening with that card. It's like okay. the wake-up call card, right? So in, oh. the other, in the other deck I use, this is the Thoth deck, but in the other deck, uh, the rider weight, it would be literally called the judgment card where it looks like people are rising from the dead and there's a trumpeter, uh, a heavenly trumpeter. So it's like judgment day. Uh, so it looks wow. like it's going to be, so, there's some big deal going on that's already been planned because this is in the background and that the eight of wands is, it's already on, on its way here. So as we ask it, this has already been planned and it's going to, and it has something to do with, it looks like the military. Huh. So that's a military card, okay? Uh, it, it has something to do with the military and safety. Because we've got the four of cups. So I said, why the military four of cups? Safety. So something to do with, so maybe they finally admit that uh, the, the U.S. is under military or it has to be dealt with by the military because... Uh, you know, it's unsafe. It's been breached. It's been as Juan Osavin always says, all of those things he always says about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. By both external and internal, you know. Okay. So they, they've reopened the case. I think I sent it to you, Tom. They've reopened the uh, case here in mm -hmm. Georgia for the cheating in the competition. Right. To relook at, which is huge because we have yeah. actual video evidence yeah. of the cheating in this competition happening right so yeah. if that comes out and they rule it then um there's definitely going to be a lot of act. so with this thing happening monday are people in in america are in the i feel like america's like ground zero for what's happening globally are we are the are the as a general population going to be aware of it is that that big or is it going to be something happening that's the wish that's the intention this card's a wish card so it's saying that's the desired outcome. We don't know yet because those people, people are really react. asleep. They okay. got to react still, but it's, that's the desire. The desire is that. 
Okay. It's interesting. So the because there's the, the, a couple of things that have come up with the two two the twenty two. So um, at the beginning of the Christopher Nolan's film The Dark Knight, the one with Heath Ledger, is a bank job, yeah. and they come out, they they rob the bank, and he gets rescued by a bus, and he says the bus driver. And I think, if I remember rightly, driver comes to 76. And we had, on St. Patrick's Day, we had 17, it was 17th of March, but it was 76 days. It was the 76th day of the year, so 1776. So that was a nice, soft, but obvious location point uh, for 1776 on the 17th of, of March. Also, 17 plus 76 is 93, which is Kingship, which is Nazareth, Flotus, Bushnell, my last name. So I noticed that one. But what happens at that first scene of the dark night as they leave the, the bus number is 22 and that's and it's a golden bus and christopher nolan i asked him i met him a few years ago at a bafta um honorary session with him as the guest and i got to ask the last question i asked him about the character cobb he uses the name cobb in a few of his films dicaprio is cobb in inception um there's also uh cobb um in a screen test of batman and there's another one in his very first film, the following, Cobb. Uh, Cob. And I asked him about it and he just kind of said, oh, it's just a name, it's different. But I knew it meant something and he couldn't say. But Cobb comes to 22 as well. So he's put 22 in a few of his films. In The Dark Knight Rises, there's the famous episode where the American football pitch implodes. Mm. American football comes to 147, which is trump card. But in the stadium, you'll see... There's an executive suite, an executive bo uh, box where, you know, the fancy, the great and the good would, would meet and watch the game. Yep. The number of that suite is 322, and that blows up. That just is a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a localised explosion. They just take out the suite, boom, it's yep. gone. But 322 is skull and bones. Not that I focus on that, but also mm -hmm. 322 is, is March 22, which is Monday. So perhaps there's some kind of, reversal or something like you're saying that you know the intention is perhaps something big to be shown you know mm -hmm. but it's interesting those numbers are there in those movies um and it's just around the corner so 25th yeah 25th of march yeah that's so that thursday right 22nd so this that's is thursday yeah yeah thursday first card pulled the wheel of fortune Okay. And with the six of pentacles, so the wheel of fortune. Okay, something around the money system possibly, because this is like uh, things working themselves out better than you expect around finances. Okay. Wheel of fortune, so a big uh, switch around in uh, the money system. But I mean, we know it's already been switched, but maybe the awareness of that. Yeah. Where it all yeah, because yeah. in the past, it was something that was ruled by deep state dark cult that gets switched and it has to do with money. And it's been around, okay. it's been um, it's been in the hands of the bad guys for a really long time. Well, that might be the money system. So That's that could really be a money system thing. That's it's very interesting, that, because um, I had a chat with Charlie briefly in the week about a few of the numbers that were coming up and... Um, you know, he's talking. It's literally hours. It's you know, hours or days when the until yeah. the QFS becomes aware. But um, so if you do, if you do twenty uh, fifth, uh, sorry, the twenty fifth of March. Yeah. Uh, it comes. Well, sorry. March the twenty fifth equals two three two. Um, if you do twenty uh, fifth of March equals two twenty. Two twenty comes to Operation Warp Speed. President Trump has been talking about that a lot. And it seems it's, you know, the health promoting thing. I think there could be, you know, things like resurrection and Tesla technology connected to that. But if the system is all kind of encompassing, it could be exactly on the money with the financial system as well. So those two numbers, 232 is an important one, but also 220. And they both, depending how you say the value of that date, whether it's March the, the 25th or 25th of March, you get those two values. So I've been thinking perhaps something about the money system in regards to that, but it's so interesting. It's just popped up on, yeah. on the cards with you on that, Janine. So that's very interesting. So what ha is, is it is something, whatever is going to happen on Monday, will that trigger what happens potentially on Thursday? Are they connected? I mean, I know it's all Possibly. connected, but Possibly. Well, I get it. yes. 
Yeah. Yeah. There's it, a it, and, and that's a cup, yes. So it might prepare people in openness for what comes. Okay. okay. There's a there's a piece in um the film Dirty Dancing, which was re released during the lockdown period. So when you could go back to the cinema here in the UK, they yeah. showed it. And I, I always just thought it was a chick flick. But I fell in love with that movie because I knew it was a Q movie. All, all old films that got re-released were deliberately put out for us to watch. And, okay. um, and Dirty Dancing, there's, there's a lot of references in there. They talk about following the twos, 222, which comes to, um, which is March uh, 21st, which is the beginning of spring. Spring is reset, 67. So Patrick Swayze says to her when he's dancing with Jennifer, follow the twos, follow the twos, baby. You know, So there's 222. But also... Um, there's a part in there that which is a very peculiar phrase of dialogue. The owner of the of the holiday uh, estate that they're on, he says very, very probably the penultimate scene before they do all the dancing, you know, for eight minutes at the end. He says, he says uh, twenty two, and he says twenty two countries. So he says twenty two. He says in three days, twenty two countries. It's all just disappeared it all feels like it's coming to an end and it's got no connection to anything else in the film but he says it and it stood out to me when i watched it i was like okay something about a three-day period and 22 countries now bryce has just said very intuitively is monday connected to thursday and that's a three-day period and the first start of it is 22 so i'm just wondering that stood out to me for you know, a long time now. And it's interesting how that could possibly connect with this time period that we're about to go into, you know. Let's hope. <laughs> I'm ready. I think we're all ready. I think, I think my live last night, everybody was like, can we just be done with this? <laughs> just yeah. I'm like, trust me, <laughs> I think we're all on that boat. Like, oh, yeah. let's get to shore. Let's just get there. <laughs> yeah. Getting tired of this merry-go-round. <laughs> <laughs> what do you see on the 1st of, uh, of April, Janine? I mean, 107 saying inauguration then. I see a lot of numbers pointing to, to confirm what he's saying about that. Do you see inauguration on the 1st of April? What do you see? Uh, that could be but there's some kind of disappointment around it because there's going to be two people doing something. So in other words, uh, they, they don't get rid of the B guy, even if the T guy comes back on the scene. So now we got two, uh, like we already have that anyway, like we have mm -hmm. two uh, sort of a, a shadow government mm -hmm. and then yes. a, a pretend sort of facade government like they're both very, very elusive actually it's very strange right so it looks like they'll be together that that part will still will will it, that'll be the problematic part and it'll be slightly disappointing so it won't be uh, the big crescendo we want which is buddy comes back on the scene and he's the main guy they're still um they're gonna have to work somehow together or appear like they are for a while so I, that means, really? I, wow. I have a question around that because some, when I, I taught a class this morning, I came home and my boyfriend Todd was like, I just listened to some person. I can't remember who it was. We, we know about the corporation of our country um, in, in the United States and a lot of countries are, are corporations. We, that's part yeah. of the awakening. Yeah. And we know Charlie Ward has said that the B guy is actually the CEO of a defunct corporation. Yeah. So, and this other guy was saying the same thing. So is it going to become more clear that the B guy is the CEO of a defunct corporation, whereas the T man is the uh, leader of, of an, a constitutional military and Republic. Yeah. Will that be clear to the public? Will the public, I know we understand that, yeah. but will the sleepers understand that? Yeah. So it's the beginning of ripping that all wide open. So it's a um, necessary step for people to understand what's been, they got to do it in degrees. Like if okay. they just all of a sudden replace one for the other, everybody's going to, they're going to be so glad to exit uh, the guy with the mask. Let me tell you, you know what yeah. I mean? They're going to yeah. be so, yeah. that's what I get. The whole idea was also, it has something to do with mainstream media being held accountable. 
because they've been parading this guy around with a mask on and yeah. he's been doing things which is totally illegal if you think about it. So if this is an actor and they prove that it is and they're going to, okay, then uh, they're, they're, he's got, like everything he's done is going to become completely illegal and mm -hmm. they'll have to reverse yeah. everything. It's part of the plan. That's what it looks okay. like. Part of the dark That's plan. What about the That's old amazing. man too? The old man that worked with the B-man from 2008 to 2000. Oh, the old man married oh. to the big Mike man? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, we, we know that the old man was possibly not born oh. where he said he's born. Um, none, that, none of the uh, info about him is true. It's all not made true. Up. All of it yeah. is made up. He's completely, he's unfortunately uh, a product of SRA his whole life. Yep, I have heard that. He probably has no idea who he is because he has so many alters. Mm -hmm. What's SRA? Satanic ritual abuse. Oh, okay. So he yeah. was brought up, handed around from a young child. Okay. And is absolutely uh, been, he's like a programmed puppet mm -hmm. who probably has so many personality alters. He has no idea who he is, which is why he would come across kind of sometimes. Yeah. Right? yeah. Kind of funny blank look on his face that everybody was so, it was so endearing to everybody. Yeah, it was yeah. Horrible, yeah. I loved the fake idea of him. I was totally drawn in. I was so yeah. excited yeah. because I have a, uh, a child whose father is uh, Caribbean. And I was so excited that there's actually some color in the White House. Thank you very much. Like that's huge. That was huge for me in my, I was so excited. And then it became so obvious that that is not who he's pretending to. He's a plant. Yeah. Yeah. It's so disgusting that they use all your heartstrings and then uh, completely um, flip everything around. The most evil yeah. Uh, it yeah. appears to be so good, like Oprah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, with the O man, with the O man being not not legally being able to take that position because he wasn't born on on American soil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Would that reverse everything he did as well? I mean, I'm sure most things will get put away too because it's part of the defunct corporation. But yeah. that's going to be hard. I really like. I pray for people when they because of what you said. They. they the um the other side of the of the playing board tends to play with people's emotions like that with these identity mm. politics. It's and gonna I, help everyone learn uh how to question everything, don't trust anybody who's uh look into everything and I'd like absolutely uh do your research and that's your own kind of research, mm -hmm. not necessarily like just Googling something because uh, right. you know we you know where that leads you. Yeah. <laughs> But you yeah. know what I mean? Like literally look into all the avenues that and what everybody's saying about it and find what's true about it because or yeah. feel in your heart what's true. But we're all, we all walked away from that. We just, you know, just take whatever the idiot box and or yeah. otherwise known as mainstream media tells you. And it's like, uh, yeah, that we can't do that anymore. Going yeah. forward, that's not going to be, uh, uh, we can't trust, well, big pharma. I mean, people that put their, their health in the hands of big pharma. I mean, that's almost, well, that is laughable because mm -hmm. even, I, even I, before the red pilling knew better than that. That's so yeah. obvious. That's so obvious. You can't yeah. put your faith in uh, supposed religious leaders. Almost all of them are, you know what, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and abusing the privilege. And anyway, why would you? Your own soul mm -hmm. growth is not up to anybody else. Right. Everybody yeah. grow up. You yeah. know what I mean? We need to grow up as a humans. We need to evolve and grow up because we've been like literally just uh, sleeping. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I agree with you 100% yeah. on that. 100%. Janine, you say about the um, about the 1st of April, that was really revealing because I've been hoping, well, you know, inauguration, because uh, if you do April, well, 1st of April equals 149, which comes to the word inauguration. And 107 has been saying about April 1st, but it's interesting. You gave the, the detail of the blend of the two, and that was the start of it. Because the other thing about it is um, April 1st uh, comes to first light. So for April is uh, light 56 and first is uh, 72. So wow. first light is April 1st. Wow. another way to say it and like when you said that's the beginning of it you know that's the yeah. beginning of this yeah. 
process, yeah. which is really quite amazing. Um, sorry, you were going to say something then about in addition to that. Well, maybe we'll see the light at the end of the tunnel finally, because all, all yeah. of us have been waiting to see that it's yeah. possible mm -hmm. that the yes. rightful person who actually won that competition mm -hmm. uh, gets to take their prize, as it were. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Because it's so uh, damaging for all those people that, um, you know, we can't say all the words here, but you know what I mean? Yeah. All the people yeah. that uh, wished for that competition to be won by this certain person and then he, he didn't win it. Okay. Yeah. Because it was, you know, taken from him. All, all of that, some healing starts to happen there. And, and everybody yeah. start, well, like the light, like you said, at the end of the tunnel. And it's like, uh, it just, it just takes the tide over to the other. Now, now the tide's coming in instead of going out. Like it's been feeling like it's been going out since that day. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's and coming back now. Okay. Like, yeah. yeah, we're feeling like the, the, the crazy ones and the ones yeah. that are losing, losing, losing. It's just getting really boring, actually, to be honest. And I just can't wait <laughs> to start uh, winning a few here. Exactly. <laughs> what do you see? Waiting. What do you see in regards to April, um, April 10th? Wow, this is weird. Okay. Okay, it looks like a woman, beloved and nurturing figure, very popular, uh, no thought to be left the earth plane, reappears. Ooh. Could Diana? that be who we spoke about last time? Wow. Someone really popular, known to be a nurturing figure. Uh, great celebration around because this is in the past, so thought to be passed over. Yes, that's the moon, and that's my passed over card in the past. Uh, then she, there's celebration around here, she is again. Huh. So, and a great victory, so everybody's really excited. Victory, so that's like, eh. yeah, yeah. And then, and then this is interesting because this is like my alliance card, so. It'll bring a lot of truth to. So if that becomes known, it's yeah. going to like, she'll bring a lot of truth to and give a lot of validity to. So she'll yeah. like to speak on and, or put a nod to the Alliance. So that all of those things, everybody's saying are, uh, you know, theories, the C word theories. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we don't want to, you know, put words in the video that they look for, but anyway, so all of those things, like that'll become obvious that it isn't actually, if that can be true, then all the other stuff we've been saying. Could exactly. Be true. She could be like the keystone to it all. Yeah. So, wow. I have, so, I, so she could be back then. That's incredible. That would be awesome. Cause it's like a resurrection, you know, and it is, it's a resurrection. Mm -hmm. And we did the numbers on her being the, the resurrect like Westminster at Westminster yeah. is one six five is the resurrection. Yeah. Westminster Abbey, where her service oh. was, is yeah. two hundred. Wow. The, the other thing with the numbers on that, so someone put a comment on my channel yesterday, which alerted me to about April tenth, and uh, Jason Q, who I've done some episodes with before with Charlie, um, it was about it. he was the he was the the main guy on it. So I didn't get to see the whole episode because it's quite long. But the person put the comment and said. Um, inauguration April 10th so I looked at it but if you do April 10th it comes to one two three which comes to April Fools April Fools is first of April April 10th is one two three and uh, it's the same value and also I've been looking for a big Saturday night because of back to the future when Doc says we're going back to the future next Saturday night we're going back to the future it all happened around Saturday mm -hmm. and Saturday, Saturday comes to one oh Saturday comes to 109 which comes to 17, comes to Sapruda, comes to my channel, Site Club, but it also comes to Diana Spencer. Yeah, wow. comes to Diana Spencer. And is 109 that Saturday a, comes to, to Diana Spencer. Is that date a Saturday? Yeah. Yes, I it's a Saturday. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Alliance, if you're watching, please go through with your plans. Don't let us stop you. I know. <laughs> yeah, Don't let us totally. spoil it. You're fun, please. 
Well, I have a weird question um, that somebody asked me, and I asked this to Tom too. So I was talking with two awesome ladies here in Georgia who are about to start a, like a channel for beginners, people who are just now waking up to help them. And we talked about, she said that it's been 154 years since this country was put under maritime law. And wow. somebody mentioned that it would be 154 days and until from, from the competition that happened this fall, it would be 154 days before the T-Man reemerged. And I wanted to check with the cards if there was any validity to that, if there's something going on with the gematria of the 154 number and see what you have to say, Tom, about the number 154. What date, what, what date would 154 be from the, from the second? I don't know. I got this so last minute. I have not even, I have not even looked, but it might be coming up. Okay. Let me, I could probably punch that in quickly while you're That's going to be coming up. Yeah. Because 90 days is, is approximately three months. Yeah. Yeah. So 154, that would be, I wonder if that takes you to 4th of July or September the 30th. No, 4th of July. Yeah. So September's too late. Yeah. I'm seeing if it'll show me right now. There is a, there is a, there is a, um, I can't do it because we're on my phone, but there is a uh, channel. There is, if you, if you Google, um, Bryce, if you, yeah, Tuesday, what does it, say? it says Tuesday. I just said, what date is one fifty? what date is 154 days from, no, it was November 3rd, right? Was the, yes. So Tuesday, April 6th. Wow. That's another one that people have been, that's a massive one. That's the end of. Well, April 6th. Yeah, and that's between the 1st and the 10th, obviously. So that's between those two days. Yeah, and yeah. April 6th is... Uh, April okay. 6th is... Okay, get this. We've done stuff on Mormonism, um, Bryce. Yep. The Mormon Church was set up 1830, uh, April the 6th. Wow. And also April... So April 4, 4 and 6, 46, and we spoke about 46 earlier, mm -hmm. Sign of the Dove. President Trump's year of birth. It's the four six, especially the way the Americans do it. We do four six. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Also, Tuesday. And that's the um, beginning of the financial year here in England. Oh, wow. And Tuesday. So Tuesday, spiritually, Tuesday is the planet of Mars. Um, Mars is the warring planet. It's also for the Hindus watching. It's the it's Hanuman's day. Hanuman is the monkey god who fought for, for Ra, who is the, was the incarnation of God in the Ramayana and brought Sita back to Ra, so brought the soul back to God. Wow. So. Wow. So wow. how did you phrase that question? Is there so is there any validity to the fact that it's been 154 years that the United States has been under maritime law and it will be 154 days from the last competition that we kind of get through the maritime, we're kind of done with maritime law. Is that number significant in this game? I think it is, but something got moved unexpectedly. So I feel I, like it's slightly later than the sixth. Might okay. be the tenth, might be, yeah. Okay. okay all right, yeah, it could be the, June. It was the intention in the past, because this this is the manifest card, so it was that was an intention for sure. Yeah. But some unexpected occurrences uh, caused it to be moved. Okay. okay. So they're going to do it on a different day, but okay. very close to that date. Okay. Wow. It looks, it looks like April is going to be popping. Yeah. You know, 154 as well equals tarot by Janine. That's really cool. And it also equals um, the second coming. Oh, that's um, so cool. And the revelation um yeah wow yeah That's and it's love it's it's uh i mean one times 54 is love is orbs uh one times what well, one plus 54 is 55 which is heaven which is melania which is sky wow. which is cloud december um yeah wow. that's uh that's amazing yeah one for, what do you get what can you have a look as well at april 14th because 14th comes to 132 which comes to um well, let's just have a look, yeah, if we could. 
And when's Easter this year? April 4th. We should look at that as well. April 14th and April 4th, yeah. The resurrection, right? Yeah. Okay, I think a lot of things have changed by the 14th for the good. Because okay. we've got the world card. So we've really cut the whole world starts to look different when you get this card. Oh, wow. Uh, things really sped up. And this is what led, <clears throat> excuse me, led to it, which is a whole bunch of things quickly happening. So if you, it makes sense from now till then, that's fast. Mm -hmm. All yes. of a sudden, yeah. so it's like Two weeks. That train track I've been talking about, it's like we're on this train and everybody thinks because of the whole rollout of, you know, the jabby things mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and everybody freaking out about that and all the controversy mm -hmm. around that. And, you know, what everybody it feels to, to a lot of people, especially in the UK and Europe and different places in Middle East and that, that they're, they're on this train heading for another train going to be a big crash, right? where humanity is you know, going to be in so much trouble. But I always get just before we veer off, which would make sense to the next few days. We're like, mm. we've been looking at, like the train gets all of a sudden the track changes. And then literally uh, that the whole demic thing mm -hmm. gets left in the dust. Nobody even talks about it because we're over here and it has a lot to do with maybe the financial system and a whole bunch of things revealing themselves that makes it really obvious that the people everybody's calling crazy like us right now, maybe have a, some points. So then every, all, everything about that over there gets completely left behind for this new reality. So we literally just take a different track. It's like, you know oh, how man. tracks switch yeah. and then the train just barely misses. Yeah. That's what's going to happen. And that oh, feels God. like that's exactly what the next week, happen everything changes and by the 14th that's already a whole bunch of things have changed and we're on a okay. different track completely and now we've got to sort out and all the people that woke up suddenly because they got jolted awake we, we're already awake so we're we, yeah. we kind of got it on them guys but uh they're they're all coming to watch all our channels and trying to catch up it's a lot of confusion and frustration but at least it's moving in the right direction by then wow wow so what do you see on now, them? Yeah. No but, bomb rush, yeah. I was just saying a month from now, it's going to be, we're going to be living in like a different reality. That's we're going what to be I feeling think. more hopeful. At least us who are awake are going to be feeling more hopeful because we're going to be starting to see things. We're already seeing things happen, but yeah. so that's good news for everybody watching that, that we're, we're all in this together and it looks like we're going to pull through together. What, what do you see for, um, for April 4th, Easter Sunday, um, Janine? A lot of people are going to be told they can't see their families. I know that's happening in the UK and they're very upset about it. It's happening in um, like Italy, apparently. And I can't remember some places where that's really important, right? Uh, because yeah. uh, this is family card and this is uh, the devil. So be deviled. Uh, it's like maybe even a final uh, assault on and like a final yeah. wake the heck up. Look what they're actually telling you. You can't do on with your own families or that's where it sits right now. So it's been blocked. People have been blocked and well, they've been imprisoned. So all the places that have been really heavily locked down, uh, they're still threatening that that's going to be the case. Okay. So a lot of angst and anger around that. So anybody okay. still locked down by then is going to be like, this is ridiculous right? They're going to be calling foul and they won't literally, that could be one of the last days they're, they're going to get away with that agenda. Okay. Cause that card's the end of that. Like it comes to a bitter end where people are like, that's the bitter end. Uh, we, that's enough. Missed, we missed, we already missed Christmas back here. Now we're going to miss, you know, we missed Thanksgiving a lot of people mm -hmm. and, or it got uh, like, it got really weird anyway. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I missed my birthday, my 59th birthday. Now, my, my 60th, May 1st, that better be a, a big celebration or, or I'm doing it anyway, <laughs> let's just say. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's like, are you kidding me? Right? So then they're going to, now the final assault looks like it's the fourth where they're still going to cling to these agendas 
because they put them in place. And I know it was to wake people up at this point, but it's like, nobody's going to be liking it too much. It's going to be a lot of hassle around, like a lot of people really angry about that. Good. We need people to get pissed off. We need we more do. people to get pissed off. We do. Right. Yeah. We can't yeah, just, I, maybe you said it, Jenny, in another show. Um, you know, one thing that's fair, I was telling Todd, my boyfriend, you know, like you look back a hundred years ago or 150 years ago, our ancestors, when something was wrong, they got up and did something. They got yeah. up their butts and they did something. But we've been so inundated with TV and Hollywood that it's like these last 30, 40 years, we've become so subdued to-, to They to figured this. out a way to, yeah, they like they took that away from us over mm-hmm. the, like they've been doing that, you know, taking it away from us for, since the beginning of, I think, what we call history. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, because I know it, we're way older than we thought. And mm-hmm. there's way more otherworldly intervention into mm-hmm. the human race. Like we're just, that, we're just scratching the surface on, at least I am. I barely yeah. know anything about that, but it's obviously true. Mm-hmm. So it's like, Oh my good. That'll be the next rabbit holes I go down. Well, that's something yeah. I want to do with you guys in the future too. Cause bloodlines are kind of my thing. That's kind of how I started waking up. And, um, and I believe that all of us have extraterrestrial DNA. So I would love to in the future. And you actually, doesn't one of my names uh, number mean alien or something, Tom? Didn't we figure that out? Which was hysterical because. My, like yeah, alien is 41. USA is 41, alien. The year we're in, 20 plus 21 is 41. Yeah. Yeah. And so my I. My initial is PSB and uh, one, uh, 41. Um, yeah. What did, what did Watson come to? I can't remember. I what can't remember. Now I have to go back and look. Um, okay. But I do. I think that was kind of my my initial red pill was, well, actually, my initial initial red pill was Jordan Maxwell's talk on the cult of Saturn. But um, but then after that, it was, because I'm RH negative, I have my three times great grandfather was born into the English royal family. I've had all these crazy Are you trying guys. to tell us something, Bryce? Are you going <laughs> to? I'm going to transform now. You're going to change. Come on. Weird side effects because of this. And I feel like my, when I started talking about that on my channel, I got so many people emailing me because they had had the same experiences. They were also yeah. RH negative. They'd had all these weird things happen to them. And so I feel like that's something we're going to have to like relearn what, who we really are. Um, I know yeah. Carrie Cassidy says we're a product of like tw- 12 different races that are not from this planet. Yeah. And so, and that's going to be fun. I know they say we have 97% junk DNA, but in my opinion, the universe doesn't create junk. Yeah. Like who came up with that? That's ridiculous. Everything's yeah. worthy and everything right. is useful. So yeah. what can we do? What are, what is it that we don't know how to do that we can have? How, how powerful are we, you know, that they don't want us to know. So I think that's yeah. going to be something fun going forward. That, We're that powerful way. mutants, powerful mutants. <laughs> we all look. Yeah, before we before we close, Bryce, I, I, there was one person that came up yesterday and I just wanted to ask Janine about her. Um, Dolly Parton was shown singing and doing a, a uh, what looked to be a, a shot. Um, yeah. But she sung her song, Jolene, and she did Jolene, 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 Jolene. But she was she was singing. It. She substituted the word Jolene for the V word for the cure. So she said. V, 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 V. So I wanted to know yeah. what side of the board is she on? Oh. Because there's there's a number okay. behind it that's interesting. We did a deep dive on her. First did you? Of okay. All, Ashley and I. Yeah. So we got, and I'll just say it, we got really clear. Uh, she's absolutely a, a dark cult witch, but she's a, a male originally. Oh, is she? Wow. <laughs> That's why oh, yeah. they're so Look big. At her. <laughs> they're Look at her. Yeah, she just had those, you know, put on over the years. But uh, look at her face. Like, uh, she's got a really square jaw, really, that like, comes way down and straight across. No, she's absolutely. And then think about, just take makeup and wig off. She literally dresses like a, a cross-dresser, uh, uh, very flamboyant one. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Uh, she doesn't really come across like an actual female. Like if you actually think of a, a natural woman, way too much. She's trying way too hard. Think about it. Think about it. Interesting. She's like Interesting. overdoing the hell out of it because she's compensating for, uh, she doesn't really have the parts uh, or originally didn't. So she had huh. that all done. Uh, you know what I mean? A whole bunch of things. But anyway, the card said she was a male originally. Also, she's absolutely uh, like a scumbag. 
Sorry. Wow. Sorry for Dolly Parton lovers. The woman's a scumbag. She's as bad as Oprah. And she's uh, planted in there just like Oprah was. And her wow. background is false. So uh, everybody that wrote me and said, oh, she comes from a poor, really nice family. Uh, I call BS on that. She does wow. not. She's a plant. Interesting. So I, I did, that's really in, very interesting. So I did the, uh, and the things you've been saying about the optics on her make sense from what you've just given, so I can see that. Um, so when she sung, when she substituted the words to her song, Jolene, she said, V, 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 and she did it four times. So V comes to 57. 57 also is Moon, Tesla, George, hello, George, England, uh, Mary, Moon passing over and yeah. Uh, illusion. Yeah, yeah. The moon card. And, um, so 57 times four, because she said it four times, comes to 228, which comes to... Sorry, guys. The oh. It doesn't want me to say it. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, he's got the dog scouting. She doesn't want me to say it. not very happy about Dolly Parton, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> So 57, like you say, moon, illusion, so reflection, you know, uh, 57 comes, uh, 57 times four comes to 228. 228 comes to the best is yet to come. Yeah. So even when there's the dark hats doing their stuff, because they're all under control of President Trump now, within it, when you look beyond, there's always a good message. And so even within that, she's singing her song, she substituted the words, but it comes out as the best is yet to come, which is where we're going, you know? So yeah. even in the dark moments, they have to tell the truth. They have to, they have to point us to, to the light. So I thought That's that awesome. was, uh, I thought that was interesting. Wow. Well, this was a great episode. I can't wait to get this up for everybody to see. Hopefully this will give a lot of people some hope um, for the future. Cause this is, we're talking a matter of weeks when all this stuff is going to happen. So, um, so I'm excited. This is awesome. Yeah, I can't wait. It's about yeah. it's it's time. It's ready. I mean, yeah. did I see this correctly? Did Dan Scavino put something out of President Trump saying it's time? I got that sent to me. I haven't checked the actual original source, but they said it was Dan Scavino put it up. Has anyone seen that saying it's I time? Seen that, no, not yet. Okay. I just okay. saw that uh, Junior, or was it Grinnell? One of them put a put a picture of the T man saying, "I think it's time I circle back." Yes. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. Oh, the other one as well. So um, Dan Scavino did, I don't know if we mentioned this last time, but there's a picture of a moose running across the water. Now, whether it's a moose running across the water or it's just shallow water and they're galloping across, either way, it's pretty cool. It's done with a piece of music, but moose comes to 67, which is reset. Ooh. And Thurs, as in Thursday, is reset. So I was like, I think when, I think Storm, I think Thursday at some point is going to be very potent. Well, that's interesting because like you have eagle for your uh, animal totem in the U.S., mm -hmm. we have a moose. Ah, there you <laughs> Canadian. go. Canadian. Awesome. There you go. Something's going on maybe with the Canadian angle. That's yeah. There you go. Yeah, Is it you be. that said that Canada might potentially become a part of the United States? Okay. Uh, this might make a lot of uh, people mad at me, but I really hope that's true. I know my best, okay, my best friend lives in Canada, and I have not seen him since this whole charade started, and bless his heart, you guys have been, he's right outside of Toronto, you guys have been so, like, crazily, like, imprisoned, and yeah. I would love for him to be, selfishly, I would love for us to be in the same country. And um, everybody's brainwashed to think we got it way better because of that lame health care we got. Mm -hmm. Okay, I never use the health care because it's pathetically lame. Like, you have no idea. Like, it's yeah. like, let's just stand in line and wait. Uh, like, you could, you could, like, pass away standing in line waiting for your free really lame healthcare and no doctors even care. Like I'm sure there's some good doctors out there, but about 99% of the ones I've ever met don't give a rats, you know what, mm -hmm. about your health or care about you. And they're just part of the system mar marking off how many people they see. Uh, nobody's ever looked at me even twice uh, mm -hmm. for any kind. Like I just never use them because why on earth would you? They're a waste, waste, waste of your time. 
Yeah. It's so funny. I was, t- I think I was telling Tom, uh, cause yeah, everybody complains about the healthcare here in America because we have to pay for it. But when you pay for it, you get really good service because it's a service. Um, yeah. My grandfather was a surgeon and um, he died when he was like 56. He got cancer and he, he, pa- he passed away young. And my mom just the other day was saying that um, when my grandfather was dying on his deathbed, one of his colleagues who was a friend of his was like crying because his friend was dying so young. And my grandfather said, don't weep for me. I'm going to a better place. I weep for you because this medical system is going to hell in a handbasket. He was like basically projecting what was going to be happening in our future. He yep. knew in 1986 yep. how much the, the pharmaceutical world was going to come a, a part of practicing healthcare. Yep. You know, so, um, and so I was, when my mother said that, I was like, that's really interesting that he like picked up on the fact that things were, were changing and it's coming. Yeah. I know that Canada and I know England too is on, on the the NHS, right? The national healthcare system. I can say, hopefully England can, and Great Britain can be part of maybe the 51st or 52nd state of the U.S. We'll just pull you over. We can do a reverse on King George and we'll join you guys. I, that. That'd be great. I mean, a lot of us are from, from England anyway, so yeah. <laughs> our mother okay. lives anyway. If things don't change in Canada, seriously, I'm moving to Texas. Yeah, same. Texas or Florida. I'm like, what? I mean, DeSantis in Florida, we'll have to do a whole breakdown of Florida. DeSantis is kicking ass. He, he told uh, the B-man to go F himself. You know, yeah. he's opened the state yeah. up. He's like, and he told them they're not going to teach a certain curriculum in Florida because he doesn't yeah. want kids to learn to love their country. And um, yeah. and I'm like, yeah, Florida and Texas are the two states. And this is one thing that people, I, I don't think younger generations understand is that in the United States, we're, we're supposed to be a republic. Each state is supposed to have its own government and the governors are supposed to protect their people. The That's federal right. government is secondary and the T-man did a really good job of enforcing that. And DeSantis and tech, like the, the, you can see the states that are really like really participating wow. in the constitution and really protecting their citizens wow. versus the ones like California who aren't. So um, yes, Janine, you can you you and Tom both come over. Well, I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure uh, the T man once he's would love to have all these new citizens come over and be a part of our our country. So um, so we'll have to have a big party once it's all over. We'll have to meet somewhere central and just right on celebrate. <laughs> so well, do you guys want to do this next week too? Awesome. Yeah, well, next week to. doesn't work unfortunately. I, I'm okay. going to be going to Vancouver, but oh fun. Well, then the next week, hopefully by the one after. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, hopefully by then we'll have even more stuff to talk about. Yeah, We're going to have a lot of things to talk about. Are you somewhere different today, Janine? Because I I know you're not at your table. Are you in the, in your home still or somewhere else? I'm in Calgary. Yeah. At home. But, uh, uh, next week I'll be uh, helping my daughter move. So I'm going to Vancouver. Awesome. Beautiful. Vancouver. Road trip. Yay. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Well, and I know, and for all the people from my channel that keep asking when we're going to go over the more history stuff, we will get to that. I promise. But there is just so much happening right now yeah, in true. our timeline that we're a part of that. We're going to cover that first. And then we'll, the oh, Bryce, I was going to mention before we, before we cut, I was going to say this week, um, I launched a, how to do the numbers. Yes. 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 Digital Thank project. You. So, um, yes. if you go to, well, you'll see it in the links with Bryce and, yes. and mine. And so, um, but if you go to Site Club, my channel, PSYCH Club, which comes yeah. to 109, which comes to Saturday, as we spoke about. But yeah. there's a nice digital product. So it's an audio book. It takes you through the numbers. People say I do it very quickly. So I've slowed it right down. So everyone has the time to, to write down their numbers and yeah. do things that are personal to them, because that's how you best learn. When you, when you understand it on a personal basis, you can see awesome. the bigger picture. And we yeah. also have a, a, a lovely, beautiful workbook as well. Yeah. So... Um, head over there and uh, say hi in the comments yeah that link will be down in the description box here as well and it was uh my video that i released this morning i, I put that in as well as as well and oh, I know awesome. Thank you. Have, have asked about Thank that you. because they're they're just learning this form of of understanding the universe through numbers so so you guys go check that out um and i hope you guys both have a wonderful wonderful day um, check out Tara by Janine if you haven't already and Cindy Graven she has two channels and then of course Thomas Site Club I'll have those links down in the description box below and everybody buckle up because the best is truly yet to come
and we're here. Hey, awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Bryce. Thanks, right. Nancy. In a couple of weeks. Yeah. <laughs>